hey, hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this echinoderm and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says, what is an echinoderm? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need a suction cup and a sliding door. This is a fish. This is a sea star. Any questions? Then stop calling them starfish, because they're not starfish. They're not even fish at all. They're sea star. You gotta start calling sea stars, people. Let's see. Ow! I just hit myself in the face. Okay, some echinoderms, like this sand dollar, eat food by filtering the sand. But other echinoderms, like this sea star, eat live meat. But see, here's the thing. They don't have any claws to pry open shells. Okay, you're gonna start by getting yourself a sliding door. Then get yourself some suction. No, 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 from a cup. No, from a suction cup. Try to stick with me. Ha <laughs> I'm funny. All right, I like to attach it like this. And now I'm gonna open up the door using just the suction cup. Wow, now that is so wicked cool. I opened the door using just the suction cup. That is so cool. Okay, so why does the door open up? And what does this have to do with how echinoderms eat? Well, don't look at me, take a closer look. At this. Echinoderms are a group of spiny skinned invertebrates, usually showing five part symmetry and containing tiny tubed suction cup like feet that work on a hydraulic seawater system. Just like the suction cup creates a vacuum allowing the door to slide open, sea stars and other meat-eating echinoderms use their suction cup-like tubed feet to attach to shells of oysters and clams. This creates hundreds of tiny vacuums attached to the shell, allowing echinoderms to pull shells open. They open the shell just enough so they can push their stomach inside the shell to release acids. These acids digest their food and the stomach then absorbs the digested soup, eventually pulling their stomach back inside and moving Moving on. Echinoderms started out sometime between 525 and 500 million years ago. The first echinoderms most likely resembled cups with tentacle like arms all growing from a stalk attached to the sea floor. Some of these stalks evolved into the feather stars while others evolved into the sea stars and brittle stars. Some sea stars branched off and evolved into the sea urchins. Some sea urchins branched off stretching their bodies and evolving into the sea cucumbers while other sea urchins branched off losing their spines up and flattened out evolving the sand dollars. So now you know more about echinoderms. You know, opening up a door using just a suction cup is why science is so cool.